Legal. What's going on, YouTube? It's the real Chuck T. Uh, pretty much like I said, I'll be doing a video showing y'all a picture or a little quick video of all my different shoes that I've collected. Um, in the last six months, last time I did a video showing my whole collection was about uh, sometime in January. If you want to look back at that video, but if, as you can see, it has grown a good amount with my collection here. So I'm just going to start kind of showing y'all uh, each shoe one by one. We we'll start over here at the left side of the room. You have the, the Lemon Twist or Highlighter Janowski's. Just got these a few weeks back. Worn them maybe one time. Pretty nice there. I guess Janowski's like my new thing. I've always been looking at them. Never really was, I guess, popped off the shelf. Tell me when I saw those, I couldn't help but get them. And I saw the purple, like purple, one of my favorite colors, so I decided to get those as well. Then you have the red and white mids here. As well as my Aqua SBs, one of the first pair of SBs I ever got. Roller Derbies, of course you'll see some old pair in here from off from last video. You see some new stuff as well. Those are my last video, as well as these here. Then you have my Black History Months. Definitely my favorite Black History Months shoe probably to release, honestly. Uh, I just love the red suede, definitely pops on it with the gold swoosh. Then my Cool Gray Nines. One of my top five J's, probably my when it comes to my list, along with my Dave Whites back here, and the Mac Rads, real nice. Go over, you have the mid ostrich due to the ostrich uh, leather right there, and on the back, real nice. Some loons. Some gold dust, old pairs. Had those in my last video. You have the Ion Pink with the brown. Another one of my favorite pairs SB because of the pink there. The Griffey Max ones, the Navy and the Royal Volt. Both. Probably my my most favorite pair of Griffies by far as far as the style. And my most favorite colorways as well. Then you have the uh, the minty fresh lows. I'm still yet to wear these from my last video. Tried them on a few more times. Still yet to wear them though. And the wind pigs fly right there. I love those. And these is a nine and a half. That's why they're super super loose as far as the laces. Cause when I tie them all the way up, they really just fit uh, really super tight. I I need like a ten in those so. And then here you have uh, my LeBron Elite Taxis. Shout out to the Miami Heat bringing home that uh, championship for sure. Then right over here, you have another pair. It's the regular LeBrons. Nice. And the Galaxy Dunks. Had a blue pair of these too, but I actually sold them. But I kept these, my favorite. You have the Piet Mondrians. Had those in my last video. The pre Montreals, of course. A pair of Nike history there. This, of course, is um, a retro edition, whatever you want to call it. My Puma Sky Highs really take me back with those. I love the Puma. I love this style, this particular style of Puma, just because it's the classic feel to it. A lot of the old school uh, breakdancing cats used to rock them. Got them in the gray and navy, the green and white, as well as the white and red. Got my speed turfs back here, Miami Dolphin colorway. And then as you can see on the very, very back, got the Ewings. Still yet to wear those, but I, I love them. Just the history behind them. Of course, as you can see the box right there. My favorite shoe box ever probably. Then up on the table, more J's, my Flint 9's, another one of my top five J's personally. These, just got them in, still yet to wear them, the Carolina 13's, bottom still so clean, but yeah, linen 14's, violet 10's. 
course, my number one on my list of J's. My taxis. Right there. Those are not uh those are not the black toes, those are the AJKOs, along with my grapes. And of course my playoffs right there. So that's another backup look of it. And we'll go right back over here in the corner. Got some classics here, of course. The white and black shell toes, white and red. Always got to have those in the collection. And of course, my favorite Adidas, the Booze Knits. Got the yellow and black, so yet to wear these as well. Had them for like pretty much since January. Another pair of Booze Knits. Another pair. Bring those out in the light. The yellow and blue, I really love it on it. Yeah, some of my old blazers. Uh, really, when I first got into shoes, I don't know. I just kept seeing these on the shelf, and I really love them. And I still do love them. Just the laces in general just catches my attention every time. Pair of dunks. Basic. Got these for like 30 bucks at the Nike outlet. Still on those, considering they're still in Foot Locker for like $80, $80 something like that. Of course, some throwback re box can't go wrong with those and yeah that's a look right there and this time I did leave out like my different chucks and stuff different stuff I didn't feel like pulling those out too this is already enough this is uh, I believe 45 44 pairs of shoes in my last video I want to say had like 22 or 20 something like that so as you can see, my collection has grown a good bit. Um, well, actually, probably would be more because I know I have my Converse and stuff in my last collection. So it's actually grown more than double in size in about uh, in about six months. Has been so I made that last video. But yeah, this would be a perfect time to show y'all these. Right now, I am on a, a brief hiatus from the shoe game. Got some other financial responsibilities to to tend to. I know I promised y'all to do the drawing for the uh, the gift the fifty dollar gift cards for Foot Locker. I'm gonna still do that uh, in a few weeks. So of course, click subscribe. That drawing will be available to all my uh, all my subscribers. So thank you to everybody that, that does do that and watch all these videos. But um, that's pretty much it. You boy Chuck T signing out. Oh yeah, and anybody that got something negative to say about my collection, I know last time people had some different stuff to say. That's completely cool. I ain't tripping. I don't care. That's why it's keyword my collection, not yours. I don't rock all the the hype beast stuff, whatever. I don't go out and stand in line for Jordans no five hours before the store open and having to go get tickets two and three days before. I'm not gonna go doing all of that. If I really want something, I'm gonna get it. If I see something, I'm gonna get it. I don't care what kind of shoe, I don't care what brand it is. If I like it, I like it, so end the story with that. So, anybody that want to leave any negative comments, that's cool. I really do appreciate you looking at the video, though. But, uh, your boy Chuck T, signing out. The sky's falling, the wind is calling, stand for something or die in the morning. Section 80, high power.